Welcome to the Fun Astrology Podcast, Thursday the 13th. <laughs> uh, we are one week away today from the next eclipse, the annular solar eclipse that will not be visible in the United States. Anybody thought about going down to Australia to see it? Well, that's about where it is visible, so that's where everybody is converging the big one that will be visible on a big swath across the United States is next year. I think I'm going to go to Little Rock and do it with Glasscock. I think that would be fun. Two old dudes sitting on the balcony <laughs> drinking tea because neither of us drink alcohol. So there you go. Actually, I should talk to him about that so that we could put a little group get-together. If Those of you who want to converge on Little Rock, be a great place to watch it, for sure. Like right in the middle of it. And I would say if you've never seen one, if you missed the one in 2017, you should definitely see this. It is an amazing experience. Just want to be somewhere where it's not cloudy. Anyway, we'll address that. And yes, maybe we will put something together. That sounds like a great idea. Now, let's look at the sky today. First thing we have is the moon enters Aquarius at 442 this afternoon after a six-and-a-half-hour void of course. So that void of course begins at 10.15 this morning, both Eastern time zone. So if you work void of course moons into your daily schedule, you've got a big one today, and you probably already know that. The moon then stays in Aquarius all the way until Saturday night when it enters Pisces. So that right there gives you the independence of the next two-and-a-half days, basically. And then on Sunday can be your really meditative, spiritual, intuitive day. little extra self-time Sunday morning for reflection and journaling and meditating would definitely be in order. Tomorrow at 1238 Eastern, Venus squares Saturn. Venus is at 4 degrees Gemini, Saturn 4 degrees Pisces. And where these two are in the chart tomorrow when they square off is part of the message of this. This is about bringing some transformation to your own hopes and dreams for the future. And this is something you could carry into that Sunday meditation when the moon enters Pisces. But you could spend a little bit of extra time thinking about what do I really love? You could ask the question, am I loving in a healthy way? Because remember, we have the moon in Aquarius under this aspect. So you could say, am I giving too much of myself to a relationship or to a situation? This is great energy to bring something like that to light. Is this relationship that I'm in healthy? Is it mutual? Is it balanced? And particularly, is there something we are ignoring or I am ignoring? You know how we talked about yesterday, my path through the Chiron return? This is what I never did. Never knew about the opportunity of a window in the chart or the wind, a window in my day where the energy was stronger to stop and say, how are things really anyway? Well, you can do that under this Venus aspect with money. You can do it with your relationship, with love, etc. You can do it about where you're living. That would be one area that might come under this how or where you're living. If you wanted to push the rings out a little bit, you could look at all of the partnerships and affiliations in your life. How are they serving you? Are they according to your path? Or bring that moon in Aquarius back into, into frame here. Don't tell me what to do living that radical independence of Aquarius and just saying, am I giving myself to something that really just flat doesn't serve me? Well, this is where I bring the Bob Newhart Stop It video up from the whole Bob Newhart show. Stop it! <laughs> if you're doing that, Aquarius Moon says, stop it! Make the change so that the Chiron return doesn't have to kick it out of you like it did me in yesterday's episode. Find out in your chart where you're off plumb. Where is it not squared up? And by the way, if you don't know even the first place to look for that, then we have some great readers on our funastrology.com website page under the readings. And you can go there. There are a display of people that are just handpicked by me, basically, to say they represent the kind of work that we do around here. And then, of course, Robert Glasscock on the Old Soul, New Soul Astrology podcast is also booking readings. You could talk to him. But you can get this worked out. 
Now, Saturn is in another aspect today. About an hour later after this one, it sextiles the north node of the moon, which means it trines the south node. So while this Venus aspect is happening, also just forming up and basically equally as strong is this karmic connection. That just underscores everything we've just said. Make sure that you're living according to your path vividly and clearly on display at the time and moment of your birth. Wow, what a miracle astrology is. I just wish we came in pre-programmed to know how to do it. Why in the world do we know how to cry and do other things as kids and we don't know astrology? Seems unproductive to me, but maybe we'll evolve into that. Who knows? Can you imagine? Can you just envision for a minute a world where everybody followed the path like this? Oh, bring it. May it so be. All right. Tomorrow in the evening, as we mentioned, just shy of 7 o'clock Eastern, the moon moves into Pisces, and that sets up your beautiful meditative Sunday. So I hope that gives you a look at the couple of days ahead. I am going to take tomorrow off and just take a little breather and do some resetting my own self. I'll see you with Ray on Saturday and back here again on Monday. Have a wonderful ride through the weekend. I love you, and I will see you on those next appointed days.